In a startling development, the fearsome Android 21 known for her insatiable thirst for power and her ability to absorb other beings to increase her own strength has unveiled her latest creation, a sinister clone named Evil Goku. According to reports, Android 21 utilized advanced technology and her own scientific knowledge to craft a distorted and malevolent version of Son Goku, the legendary Saiyan warrior. Evil Goku possesses all the abilities and techniques of the real Goku, but his heart is steep in darkness, making him an unpredictable threat to the universe. The creation of this malevolent clone has put the inhabitants of Universe 7 on high alert, fearing the catastrophic consequences of having a corrupted version of one of their greatest heroes. Rumors suggest that evil Goku has already begun sowing chaos on different planets, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. Faced with this new threat, leaders from different planets and powerful warriors have joined forces to confront Evo Goku and prevent his nefarious plans from coming to fruition. However, Android 21 remains behind the scenes watching with a satisfaction as her creation wrecks Havok. Meanwhile, Son Goku and his fellow warriors are preparing for the imminent confrontation. Meanwhile, Son Goku and his fellow warriors are preparing for the imminent confrontation, determined to stop evil Goku and restore peace to the universe. But can even the legendary Saiyan warrior take on a corrupted version of himself? The fate of the universe hangs in a balance as the heroes gear up for the epic showdowns that lies ahead. Son Goku has detected a significant power emanating from Earth. Sources close to Goku report that he sensed an unusual energy signature while playing. No, no. Sources close. Sources close to Goku reported that he sensed an unusual energy signature while training on Beerus's planet, prompting him to investigate the source immediately. The nature of this newfound power remains shrouded in mystery, leaving Goku and his allies puzzled and intrigued. Speculations abound among the Z Fighters and other inhabitants of Universe 7, with theories ranging from the emergence of a new threat to the awakening of a dormant force. Concerned by the potential implications of this mysterious power, Goku has decided to return to Earth to investigate further. Accompanied by his trusted companions, including Vegeta, Gohan, and Piccolo, Goku sets out to uncover the truth behind the enigmatic energy. As Goku and his allies arrive on Earth, they are greeted by an atmosphere of tension and anticipation. Rumors spread like wildfire, with some claiming that the power originates from a long-lost artifact buried deep within the planet, while others believe it to be the awakening of an ancient guardian. The fate of the universe hanging in the balance, Goku and his friends embark on a quest to unravel the secrets of this mysterious power and confront whatever challenges lie ahead. Will they be able to overcome this new threat and protect their home? Or will they face their greatest challenge yet? While in this tense exchange between Saiyan warriors, Vegeta confronts Goku with a grim prediction. The detected power surge on Earth is undoubtedly linked to the looming threat of the androids. Drawing from his past experience with these formidable foes, Vegeta expresses his concern about the potential resurgence of android-related turmoil. Vegeta, having battled against the androids in the past, recognizes the distinct energy signature associated with their presence. His wariness stems from the memories of their relentless pursuit of destruction and chaos, stilling a sense of urgency in the Z fighters to prepare for the impending danger. Goku, ever the optimist, acknowledges Vegeta's warnings and agrees to approach the situation with caution. While eager to confront any challenge head-on, Goku understands the importance of heeding Vegeta's insights, especially when it comes to threats as formidable as the androids. With Vegeta's counsel serving as a sobering reminder of the dangers that lie ahead, Goku and his allies brace themselves for the inevitable clash between the android menace. In a perplexing turn of events, Whis and Beerus, the ever-vigilant deities, detect a surge of energy emanating from an unexpected source. Initially, attributing it to Goku's formidable power, their observations quickly take a startling turn when Beerus astutely points out that this energy signature does not align with Goku's usual aura at all. Whis, renowned for his keen senses, concurs with Beerus' assessment, acknowledging the anomaly in the energy's composition. The implications of this discovery are profound, sparking concern among the Divine Duel as they grapple with the unsettling realization that Goku's essence may have been tempered with or replicated of some matter. Beerus, 
known for his discerning intuition, posits that this enigmatic energy may be a harbinger of an unforeseen challenge, hinting at a potential threat lurking in the shadows. With Goku's identity seemingly compromised by this mysterious energy signature, Whis and Beerus brace themselves for the unknown dangers that lie ahead, wary of the implications of this perplexing development. As the cosmic balance teeters on the edge of uncertainty, Whis and Beerus remain vigilant, their watchful eye fixed upon the unfolding events, poised to unravel the enigma shrouding Goku's altered energy and confront the looming specter of an unseen adversary. Android 21 she stands amidst the weary machinery of her clandestine laboratory, a malevolent grin that's stretching across her visage. With an air of sinister satisfaction, she observes the culmination of her twisted experiment, the creation of a flawless clone infused with the essence and abilities of Goku. As the nefarious android revels in her triumph, she christens her creation. Evil Goku. A dark doppelganger crafted with meticulous precision and imbued with every facet of Goku's formidable prowess. With a maniacal laugh echoing through the dimly lit chamber, Android 21 declares her creation to be a perfect replica, honed to perfection and ready to unleash chaos upon the unsuspecting universe. Android 21's ambitions know no bounds as she sets her sights on a path of destruction and domination. As the androids with malevolent laughter reverberates through the shadows of a laboratory, the universe is bracing itself for the impending storm. In a macabre twist to her diabolical plot, Android 21, the nefarious scientist known for his insatiable thirst for power, has bestowed a name upon her malevolent creation, Android Evo Goku. With a chilling grin, Android 21 announces the crystalline of her clone, a fusion of Goku's essence with her own malevolent design. The designation Android Evo Goku serves as a sinister declaration of the clone's purpose of nature, signifying its role as a harbinger of chaos and destruction. With this ominous moniker, Android 21 solidifies her creation's identity as a formidable force to be reckoned with, poised to wreak havoc upon the cosmos under her command. As Android Evil Goku stands at the threshold of its existence, its name reverberates through the halls of Android 21's laboratory, a harbinger of the dark machinations set to unfold. With its designation now affirmed, Android Evil Goku prepares to unleash its malevolent power upon the universe, a grim specter looming on the horizon of galactic turmoil. Rumors swirl around the cosmos as reports emerge from the sacred grounds of Beerus's planet, whispering tales of a Saiyan warrior mastering the untamed force within. Broly, once known for his uncontrollable rage and an unboundless power, has achieved a remarkable feat on the hollowed grounds of the God of Destruction. Witnesses speak of Broly's newfound control over his key, a power that once surged chaotically now harnessed with precision and finesse. Onlookers from across the universe stand in awe as they witness the Saiyan Prince's transformation, his aura pulsating with an otherworldly grow. Amidst the serene backdrop of Beerus' planet, Broly stands tall, his eye ablaze with determination as he channels his energy with unwavering focus. With each controlled surge of key, he demonstrates a mastery previously unseen a testament to his relentless dedication to surpassing his limits. Whispers of Broly's newfound control spread like wildfire, sparking curiosity and intrigue among warriors far and wide. Could this be the dawn of a new era for the legendary Super Saiyan? Only time will tell, as Broly's journey of self-discovery and mastery unfolds on the celestial stage of the universe. As the echoes of Broly's newfound mastery reverberate throughout the cosmos, even the mighty god of destruction Beerus stands in all of the Saiyan's remarkable transformation. Upon witnessing Broly's unparalleled display of power on his sacred planet, Beerus finds himself captivated by the raw intensity emanating from the legendary Super Saiyan. With each surge of energy, Broly pushes the boundaries of his own strength, his aura pulsating with an overwhelming force that commands the attention of all who bear witness. Beerus, renowned for his discerning eye and uncompromising standards, cannot help but acknowledge the magnitude of Broly's achievements. As the Saiyan Prince channels his newfound power, Beerus finds himself drawn to the spectacle, a rare display of martial prowess that transcends mortal limitations. 
In Broly's relentless pursuit of mastery, Beerus glimpses the untapped potential of a warrior destined for greatness. Amidst the cosmic tapestry of Beerus's realm, Broly stands as a beacon of untamed power. His presence, a testament to the boundless potential that lies within the Saiyan race. With each passing moment, Broly's ascent to unparalleled heights leaves an indelible mark on the annals of history. A testament to the unwavering determination of a warrior who refuses to be bound by the constraints of fate. In a moment of candid reflection, Broly, the once unstoppable force of nature, stands before Beerus with a sense of humility rarely seen in the legendary Saiyan. As he harnesses the full extent of his newfound control, Broly's voice resonates with a blend of awe and disbelief, acknowledging the monumental journey that has led him to this pivotal moment. With a tone tinged with reverence, Broly addresses Beerus, the god of destruction, expressing his genuine surprise at the mastery he has achieved over his overwhelming power. In his words, Broly admits that he never dared to dream that his once uncontrollable energies could be tempered and harnessed in such precision. In the presence of Beerus, whose reputation as a discerning arbiter of strength precedes him, Broly's admission carries a weight that transcends mere words. It is a testament to the arduous path he has traversed, marked by countless battles and untold trials, all of which have shaped him into the warrior he is today. As Beerus listens to Broly's words, a subtle nod of approval passes over the God of Destruction's countenance, recognizing the Saiyan's journey of self-discovery and growth. In Broly's revelation lies the embodiment of the Saiyan spirit, an unyielding resolve to surpass one's limits and defy all expectations even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. Beerus regards Broly with a measured gaze, his expression a blend of contemplation and acknowledgement. In response to Broly's revelation of newfound control over his power, Beerus offers a nod of recognition. A silent reformation of the Saiyan's remarkable achievement. With a voice that carries the weight of millennia of experience, Beerus acknowledges Broly's statement, acknowledging the potential synergy between the Saiyan's newfound mastery and the destructive energies inherited to his own divine domain. In his response, Beerus hints at the possibility of Broly's powers aligning with the very essence of destruction itself, a convergence that could elevate the Saiyan's abilities to unprecedented heights. As Beerus speaks, his words resonate with a subtle sense of anticipation, hinting at the untapped potential that lies within Broly's grasp. It is a recognition of the Saiyan's journey from a force of untamed chaos to a warrior capable of wielding his power with precision and purpose. A transformation that mirrors the inherited balance between creation and destruction that defines the cosmos. In Beerus' acknowledgement lies a tacit invitation, an unspoken conviction, recognition of Broly's newfound place within the cosmic hierarchy. It is a validation of the Saiyan's journey of a self-discovery and growth journey, a testament to his resilience and a determination in the face of adversity. As Broly stands before Beerus, a newfound sense of determination glimmers in his eyes, reflecting the turbulent journey that has brought him to this moment. With a solemn nod, he accepts Beerus' unspoken invitation, acknowledging the opportunity that lies before him. With a gesture that carries the weight of millennia of martial wisdom, Beerus signals the beginning of their training, a ritualistic dance between master and pupil that transcends the boundaries of time and space. As they engage in their first sparring session, the clash of their energies echoes across the expanse of Beerus' domain, a symphony of raw power and untamed fury. For Broly, this training represents more than just mere physical conditioning. It is a journey of self-discovery and mastery, a quest to unlock the true potential that lies dormant within him. Under Beerus' guidance, he learns to channel his energy with precision and control honing his instincts and sharpening his senses to a razor's edge. As he taps into reservoirs of power that he had never knew existed, Broly's movements become more fluid, his attacks even more precise, and with each lesson learned and every obstacle overcome, he inches closer to unlocking the full extent of his latent abilities. But amidst the rigors of their training, a sense of camaraderie begins to blossom between Broly and Beerus, forging a bond that transcends the boundaries of master and pupil. As they spar beneath the watchful gaze of the cosmos, they share stories of their respective journeys, exchanging insights and wisdom gleaned from lifetimes and experience. And as Broly stands alongside Beerus, his spirit ablaze with newfound purpose, 
He knows that this training is merely the beginning of his journey. For within him burns a fire that cannot be extinguished. A desire to push himself beyond the limits of his potential and emerge stronger than ever before. And with Beerus by his side, he knows that anything is possible. Months have passed since Broly embarked on his training under the tutelage of Beerus, the god of destruction. Amidst the ethereal beauty of Beerus' domain, where celestial energies intertwined with the fabric of reality itself, Broly has undergone a transformation unlike any other. As the sun sets on another day of rigorous training, Broly stands atop a precipice overlooking the boundless expanse of his planet. His aura ablaze with the otherworldly and radiance. With each breath, he draws upon the potent energies that saturate the very air around him, channeling their raw power into a singular purpose. In a flash of blinding light, Broly's form undergoes a metamorphosis, his muscles rippling with newfound strength as his energy surges to unimaginable heights. His eyes gleam with an inner fire, a testament to the indomitable spirit that courses through his veins. This is Broly's true power, a fusion of mortal determination and divine energy that transcends the limitations of his Saiyan heritage. With each passing moment, he delves deeper into the depths of his potential. Unlocking abilities that defy comprehension and challenge the very fabric of reality itself. As Beerus watches from afar, a rare smile graces his lips. A silent acknowledgement of Broly's unwavering resolve and boundless potential. For in Broly, he sees not just a pupil, but a kindred spirit. A warrior whose journey has only just begun. And as the echoes of Broly's transformation reverberate across the cosmos, a new legend is born. One that will echo throughout the annals of history as a testament to the power of determination, the resilience of the human spirit, and the unyielding strength of the Saiyan race. In the ongoing fanfic saga of Dragon Ball Super, Goku's journey takes an unexpected turn as he unveils a transformative power that surpasses even the legendary Ultra Instinct. The narrative introduces a groundbreaking concept known as the Golden Ultra Instinct sending shockwaves through the Dragon Ball community. In an intense battle against a formidable adversary, Goku finds himself pushed to the brink. In a desperate attempt to overcome the odds, he taps into a power previously unseen, the Golden Ultra Instinct. This form combines the perfected defense and offensive capabilities of Ultra Instinct with a radiant golden aura, signifying a level of mastery beyond anything witnessed before. As Goku ascends to the Golden Ultra Instinct state, a radiant golden glow envelops him, captivating both allies and foes alike. The intensity of this new form reflects the profound level of control Goku has achieved over his body, mind, and spirit. The symbolism of gold represents not only power but also a level of purity and enlightenment. The fanfic narrative delves into Goku's journey to perfect the golden ultra instinct. The Saiyan warrior guided by Whis undergoes rigorous training to unlock the full potential of this unparalleled transformation. The story explores the mental and spiritual discipline required to harness such an advanced state of combat prowess. News of Goku's newfound power spreads quickly among the Z fighters, sparking a mix of awe, inspiration, and concern. The narrative explores how this revelation influences the dynamics between the group particularly as they grapple with the implications of facing enemies who can challenge even this extraordinary form. Vegeta, always eager to surpass Goku, senses the gap widening between them with the introduction of Golden Ultra Instinct. The fanfic emphasizes the competitive spirit between the two Saiyan warriors, creating a subplot that adds depth to their relationship and individual growth. While the Golden Ultra Instinct grants Goku unparalleled power, the fanfic introduces the concept of its limitations. Goku grapples with the toll this advanced transformation takes on his body as the risks associated with pushing beyond his own boundaries. The narrative explores the fine line between mastery and recklessness. The introduction of Golden Ultra Instinct sparks a wave of fan speculation and theories. Online communities buzz with discussion about the origins of this new form its potential drawbacks and how it might factor into future battles. Fan artists contribute to the excitement by envisioning Goku in this awe-inspiring state. As the, fanfic... As the fanfic saga unfolds, Ultra Instinct Golden Goku becomes a turning point. 
not only for Goku's character, but for the entire Dragon Ball narrative. The story promises a blend of high-stake battles, character development, and the exploration of untapped Saiyan potential. In the Dragon Ball Super fanfic saga, Goku's revelation of the Golden Ultra Instinct takes an intriguing turn as he reflects on his journey and the desire to combine the raw power of the Super Saiyan with the sublime mastery of the Ultra Instinct. The narrative unfolds, providing insights into Goku's motivations and the evolution of his combat philosophy. As the fanfic delves into Goku's internal monologue, readers gain a deeper understanding of the Saiyan's struggle to balance the primal, unbridled power of his Saiyan heritage with the refined and instinctual combat skills of the Ultra Instinct. The narrative explores Goku's quest for harmony, a delicate equilibrium between the fiery nature of a Saiyan and the serene focus of Ultra Instinct. Goku's revelation unveils a conscious effort to merge the strengths of both Saiyan and Ultra Instinct forms. He expresses a desire to harness the explosive energy, determination, and sheer tenacity of a Saiyan warrior like simultaneously embracing the heightened reflexes, intuition, and adaptability bestowed by the Ultra Instinct. The fanfic follows Goku's intensive training regimen with Whis, highlighting the mentor-disciple relationship that has become synonymous with the Saiyan's growth. Whis, recognizing Goku's quest for his, this unique fusion, imparts wisdom on channeling the inherited Saiyan power while maintaining the calm required for Ultra Instinct. Goku's journey to combine Saiyan power with Ultra Instinct culminates in a creation of a new technique. The fanfic vividly describes the moment of realization as Goku achieves a seamless synergy between the two seemingly contradiction forces resulting in a display of power that transcends conventional limits. The narrative skillfully depicts Goku's transformation, illustrating the physical manifestation of this harmonious blend. A visual representation emerges, where the golden glow associated with Saiyan transformations converges with the ethereal silver aura of Ultra Instinct, creating a unique and mesmerizing spectacle on the battlefield. The fanfic explores Goku's utilization of this new final technique. The fanfic explores Goku's utilization of this new found technique in battles against powerful adversaries. Scenes unfold where Goku seamlessly transitions between explosive bursts of Saiyan strength and a serene fluidity of Ultra Instinct, leaving opponents bewildered and struggling to anticipate his unpredictable movements. While the fusion of Saiyan and Ultra Instinct powers offers unprecedented advantages, the fanfic introduces the toll and takes on Goku. The Saiyan's body and mind face an intense strain as he grapples with the challenge of maintaining equilibrium, presenting an element of vulnerability that adds depth to the narrative. Meanwhile, adversaries recalibrate their strategies, realizing that Goku has unlocked a power previously unseen. Goku's journey of self-discovery and the fusion of Saiyan might with Ultra Instinct becomes a pivotal arc in the Dragon Ball Super narrative. Readers are left eagerly anticipating the next stages of Goku's evolution and the potential ripple effects this newfound technique might have on the broader universe of Dragon Ball. As the Dragon Ball Super fanfic saga progresses with Goku's unveiling of the Ultra Instinct Golden, the narrative takes a compelling turn as Beerus, the god of destruction, voices concern about the risks associated with this unique transformation. In a moment of candid conversation, Beerus takes Goku aside to discuss the implications of this newfound Ultra Instinct Golden. The fanfic explores Beerus's keen observations, highlighting the god of destruction's ability to discern the intricacies of Saiyan transformations and divine techniques. Beerus, known for his discerning eye and strategic mind, expresses concern about the unpredictability introduced by the fusion of Saiyan power and Ultra Instinct. Beerus, with his vast knowledge of the cosmos, shares insights into the toll that such unique transformations can exact on mortal bodies. Pushing beyond those boundaries might lead to unforeseen consequences. In a philosophical exchange, Beerus reflects on the delicate balance between destruction and creation. The narrative weaves a discussion around how Saiyan transformations driven by the desire to protect and defend can disrupt this equilibrium. Beerus emphasizes the need for Goku to treat carefully to avoid unintended consequences. We are here seeing Beerus employing wisdom to foreshadow potential consequences that Goku may face in the future. Whether it can be physical strain 
a loss of control or unintended repercussions on the fabric of the universe, there is hints at the intricate web of challenges that may await Goku in his quest for mastery. Despite expressing concerns, Beerus assumes a mentor-like role, offering guidance to Goku. The fanfic explores the dynamics between the God of Destruction and the Saiyan Warrior, showcasing a unique mentorship that transcends the typical deity mortal relationship seen in Dragon Ball Universe. The narrative introduces a subplot, exploring how Beerus' inside influences relationships within the Z Fighters. Goku's interactions with allies, particularly those who share concern about the potential risks, add emotional depth to the story, showcasing the ripple effects of Beerus' guidance. In response to Beerus' warnings, the fanfic underscores Goku's unwavering resolve. Despite the acknowledged risks, Goku remains determined to push his limits and explore the uncharted territories of the Ultra Instinct Golden. As the fanfic saga unfolds, the warning from Beerus' build anticipation among readers. The narrative sets the stage for future developments, leaving fans eagerly awaiting the next chapters to see how Goku's journey with the Ultra Instinct Golden unfolds and whether Beerus' concerns will come to fruition. Fans are encouraged to stay tuned as the Dragon Ball Super fanfic saga continues, unraveling the destiny that awaits Goku with the Ultra Instinct Golden. The story promises a blend of action, philosophy, and character development as Goku navigates the risks and rewards of this unprecedented transformation. The next chapters beckon, poised to reveal the intricate tapestry of Saiyan power and divine caution. Vegeta's solitary pursuit, unleashing the power of Ultra Ego on the planet of destruction. In the vast expanse of Universe 7, amidst the cosmic ballet of celestial bodies and swirling energies, Vegeta, the proud Saiyan Prince, embarks on a solitary odyssey of self-discovery and transformation. His destination, the desolate and enigmatic planet of destruction. A world shrouded in mystery and teeming with untold power. With steely resolve and unwavering determination, Vegeta sets foot upon the desolate terrain of the planet of destruction. His senses keenly attuned to the latent energies that permeate the very fabric of existence. Here. Amidst the jagged cliffs of swirling maelstroms of energies, Vegeta begins his arduous training regimen, a crucible of fire and fury designed to unlock the dormant potential within. As the days turn into weeks and the weeks into months, Vegeta delves ever deeper into the recesses of his soul, tapping into reservoirs of power long dormant and forgotten. With each passing moment, he feels the primal energy of Ultra Ego coursing through his veins, an unstoppable force seeking to release. In the solitude of his training, Vegeta confronts his inner demons and grapples with the shadows of his past, forging the resolve into an unbreakable blade of determination. With every strike, every blast of energy, he hones his skills to razor-sharp perfection, pushing himself beyond the limits of mortal endurance. And then, in a crescendo of cosmic fury, Vegeta achieves the impossible. He unleashes the full power of Ultra Ego, a torrent of raw power and unbridled fury that shakes the very foundations of the universe. With a roar that echoes across the cosmos, he transcends to the boundaries of mortality and ascends to heights undreamed of. As he stands amidst the maelstrom of his own creation, Vegeta feels a sense of euphoria washing over him. An euphoria born of triumph and self-realization. Amidst the swirling energies of the Universe 7, Vegeta finds himself grappling with the enigmatic power of Ultra Ego. As he embarks on his solitary quest for mastery on the desolate planet of destruction, memories of his training with the God of Destruction Beerus resurface, serving as a poignant reminder of the risks inherited in harnessing such formidable power. In the depths of his meditation, Vegeta recalls the stern warning delivered by Beerus during their rig rigorous training. The God of Destruction, with his, with his inscrutable gaze and unyielding demeanor, had cautioned Vegeta about the volatile nature of Ultra Ego, emphasizing the importance of tempering its overwhelming power with discipline and control. As Vegeta delves deeper into his training regimen, the echoes of Beerus' admonitions bring in his ears like a haunting melody, cause the moments of intense struggle and inner turmoil. As he grapples with the primal energies of Ultra Ego, teetering on the brink of oblivion with each surge of power. With each passing day, Vegeta finds himself confronted by the dual nature of Ultra Ego, its seductive allure balanced precautiously by the ever-present threat of self-destruction. 
He reflects on the profound wisdom imparted by Beerus, who had cautioned him against succumbing to the intoxicating rush of power without first mastering its chaotic energies. As he stands amidst the swirling maelstrom of energy on the planet of destruction, Vegeta finds solace in the memory of his training with Beerus. With each strike and every blast of energy, he channels the lessons imparted by the God of Destruction, tempering the raw power of Ultra Ego with a steely resolve forged in the fires of adversity. In the crucible of his training, Vegeta embraces the inherent risk of wielding the Ultra Ego, acknowledging the true mastery comes not from reckless abandon, but from the disciplined control of one's innermost desires. With each passing moment, he inches closer to unlocking the true potential of Ultra Ego, guided by the indelible lessons learned in presence of the God of Destruction himself. As Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans, embark on his solitary training regimen on the desolate planet of destruction, his thoughts are consumed by the memories of his recent victory over his longtime rival, Kakarot. Amidst the swirling energy of the universe, Vegeta finds himself reflecting on the significance of his triumph and the relentless pursuit of greater power that drives him ever onward. In the solitude of his training grounds, Vegeta's mind drifts back to the fateful battle against Kakarot, a clash of titans that tested the limits of their strength and resolve. With each strike and every blast of energy, Vegeta had to push himself to the brink tapping into the depths of his Saiyan heritage to emerge victorious against his formidable opponent. As he stands amidst the remnants of his victory, Vegeta is filled with a sense of pride and accomplishment, knowing that his unwavering determination and unyielding resolve had carried him to triumph over Kakarot. Yet, even in the aftermath of his victory, Vegeta remains acutely aware of the ever-present drive to push beyond his limits and ascend to even greater heights of power. Vegeta's thoughts turn towards the future, where the pursuit of greater power beckons like a siren's call. He knows that his victory over Kakarot is but a stepping stone on the path to unlocking his true potential, a testament to his unrelentingly commitment to surpassing his own limitations and emerging as the strongest warrior in the universe. As he channels his energies into training, Vegeta is driven by a singular purpose, to transcend the confines of his own strength and ascend to the pinnacle of power. With each strike of his fists and every surge of energy, he pushes himself to new heights, drawing upon the indomitable spirit of Saiyan race to fuel his ascent. In the crucible of his training, for him, the pursuit of greater power is a never-ending journey, a relentless quest to push beyond his limits and emerge as the ultimate warrior in the universe. And as he stands on the precipice of his destiny, Vegeta is filled with an unwavering determination to seize his rightful place among the stars. As days turn into weeks and weeks into months, Vegeta's solitary training on the hollowed ground of planet Beerus takes on a fervent intensity. With each passing moment, the Saiyan Prince delves deeper into the recesses of his power, driven by an unyielding determination to unlock the true essence of destruction that lies dormant within him. Amidst the serene backdrop of the celestial sphere, Vegeta's relentless pursuit of power sends shockwaves rippling through the fairy fabric of the universe. The ground beneath his feet trembles with each surge of energy, a testament to the sheer magnitude of his burgeoning strength. With every punch, every blast, Vegeta pushes himself to the brink, tapping into the primal forces of destruction that courses through his veins. And as he trains tirelessly under the watchful eye of Beerus, Vegeta begins to sense a profound transformation taking place within him. The laden power that lies dormant within his being begins to stir awakening with an intensity that defies comprehension. With each passing moment, Vegeta feels himself drawing closer to the essence of true destruction, a power that transcends the limits of mortal understanding. Driven by an insatiable hunger for power, Vegeta channels the boundless energies of the universe into his training, honing his skills to a razor-sharp edge. With each passing day, his aura burns even brighter, a blazing testament to the raw power that courses through his veins. And as he stands upon the precipice of his destiny, Vegeta knows that he is on the cusp of unlocking a power that will shake the very foundations of the cosmos. Vegeta's power continues to swell, reaching heights that defy imagination. The ground beneath him quakes with a surge of energy, a symphony of destruction that heralds the awakening of a power long dormant. And as he stands amidst the chaos, Vegeta knows that he is but to step away from unlocking the true essence of destruction the lies within him. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe in? What do you imagine about all of this? 
Don't you forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, and then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Gohan. The one promising warrior and son of Goku has found himself grappling with the overwhelming power of his own transformation, drawing the attention of none other than Beerus, the fearsome god of destruction. The unexpected turn of events has raised questions about the true nature of Gohan's newfound abilities and the potential consequences of his struggle to control them. The genesis of Gohan's predicament can be traced back in his relentless pursuit of strength and his unwavering determination to project and protect those he holds dear. In his quest to unlock his latent potential and surpass his own limitations, Gohan delved deeper into the depths of his Saiyan heritage, tapping into a wellspring of power that lay dormant within him. Through rigorous training and unyielding resolve, Gohan achieved a transformation of unparalleled magnitude, unleashing a torrent of energy that surpassed even his own expectations. However, as Gohan delved deeper into the depths of his newfound power, he soon discovered that the line between control and chaos was perilously thin. In moments of intense emotion and heightened adrenaline, Gohan found himself teetering on the brink of losing control his overwhelming power threatening to consume him from within. Despite his best efforts to reign in his newfound abilities, Gohan found himself grappling with an internal struggle unlike any he had faced before. It was during one such moment of inner turmoil that Gohan's powers drew the attention of Beerus, the enigmatic and formidable god of destruction. Sensing the destability energy emanating from Gohan, Beerus took notice of the young Saiyan's plight. Recognizing the potential threat posed by his unchecked power. With the fate of the universe is hanging in a balance, Beerus resolved to intervene, determined to prevent Gohan from succumbing to the overwhelming forces that threaten to engulf him. As Gohan grapples with a daunting task of mastering his newfound abilities, the eyes of the cosmos remain fixed upon him, awaiting the outcome of his struggle. Will Gohan succeed in harnessing the full extent of his power and overcoming the inner turmoil that threatens to consume him? Or will he succumb to the overwhelming forces that seek to unravel his very being? Only time will tell as Gohan embarks on a journey of self-discovery and redemption, navigating the traitorous path that lies ahead in his quest to control the awesome power that resides within him. Gohan has opened up to Whis, the enigmatic angelic attendant of Beerus, about the origins of his powers. In a candid and introspective conversation, Gohan revealed that his innate strength has always been fueled by a deep-seated sense of determination and fury, born from his unwavering resolve to protect those he holds dear. Throughout his tumultuous journey as a Saiyan warrior, Gohan has faced countless trials and tribulations, each one pushing him to the brink and testing the limits of his endurance. From the harrowing battles against intergalactic tyrants and the heart-wrenching struggles of to safeguard his loved ones, Gohan has drawn upon a wellspring of inner strength that stems from his unyielding commitment to defend the innocent and uphold justice. In his conversation with Whis, Gohan reflected on the pivotal moments in his life where his indomitable will and fierce determination were put to the test. From his early encounters with the Saiyan Prince Vegeta to his epic showdowns against the tyrannical Cell and the enigmatic Majin Buu, Gohan has consistently risen to the occasion, harnessing the full extent of his power to vanquish his foes and protect the peace of the universe. However, amidst the chaos and turmoil of battle, Gohan has also grappled with the darker aspects of his own nature, confronting the primal fury that lurks within him. It is this inner turmoil, Gohan explained to Whis, that has been both a source of strength and a constant struggle throughout his journey as a warrior. As Gohan continues to hone his skills and unlock the full potential of his latent power, he finds himself embarking on a journey of self-discovery and introspection seeking to reconcile the desperate elements of his being and forge a path forward as a defender of justice and protector of the innocent. With the guidance of Whis and the support of his allies, Gohan remains steadfast in his commitment to mastering his abilities and harnessing the true extent of his power. As he navigates the turbulent waters of battle and self-discovery, Gohan stands poised to emerge stronger and more resolute than ever before, a beacon of hope in a universe teetering on the brink of chaos.
Gohan has also opened up about a deeply personal struggle that has long weighed heavy on his heart, Genovo. Gohan has also opened up about a deeply personal struggle that has long weighed heavy on his heart. Amidst the chaos of battle and the relentless pursuit of strength, Gohan confided in Whis about his profound fear of inadvertently causing harm to those he holds dear while wielding his formidable power. Throughout his journey as a defender of Earth and the universe, Gohan has faced countless adversaries and overcome insurmountable odds, harnessing the full extent of his sane heritage and unlocking the depths of his latent potential. However, amidst the acceleration of battle and the rush of victory, Gohan has also grappled with a lingering sense of unease, a fear that his overwhelming strength could inadvertently bring harm to those he cares for the most. In his conversation with Whis, Gohan delved into the heart. No, no. In his conversation with Whis, Gohan delved into the heart of his inner conflict, sharing his anxieties and uncertainties about the consequences of his actions in the heat of battle. As a warrior driven by a deep-seated desire to protect the innocent and uphold justice, Gohan's fear of inadvertently causing harm to those he loves weighs heavily on his conscience, casting a shadow over his every move and decision on the battlefield. Whis, ever the insightful mentor and guide, listened intently to Gohan's heartfelt concerns. Offering words of wisdom and reassurance in the face of uncertainty. With his characteristic blend of empathy and sagacity, Whis reminded Gohan that true strength lies not only in a mastery of one's ability, but also in the wisdom to wield them with restraint and discernment. Encouraging Gohan to embrace his fears and confront them head on, Whis imparted invaluable lessons about the delicate balance between powers and responsibility, urging Gohan to trust in his instincts and remain steadfast in his commitment to protecting the innocent, even in the face of adversity. As Gohan continues to navigate the complexities of his Saiyan heritage and the weight of his responsibilities as a defender of Earth, he finds solace and guidance in the wisdom of his mentor, Whis. With each passing day, Gohan grows stronger, not only in body but also in spirit, mind. Steadfast in his resolve and confront his fears and emerge victorious in the ongoing battle for peace and justice in the universe. Cosmic Chaos Uncontrolled Broly unleashes fury on planet Beerus. A cosmic turmoil shook the peaceful training on planet Beerus when Broly, the legendary Saiyan, lost control of his emotions and unleashed his devastating fury on everyone around him. What began as an intensive training session has become a battle for survival, as Broly's uncontrollable power threatens to shake the very foundations of the planet itself. The unleashing of Broly's power, known for its unparalleled ferocity, took everyone by surprise, including the other warriors in training such as Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, and even the always calm Whis. Broly's anger seemed transcendental, surpassing any logical reasoning or control. Goku, with a look of concern, tried to approach Broly, hoping to appease the legendary Saiyan's anger. Broly, it's us! We're our allies! You need to calm down! Remember, Broly, enveloped in an aura of unbridled power, is uncontrollable, and he did not respond to appeals. Their indiscriminate attacks reached the planet's outskirts, creating craters and causing irreversible damage. Vegeta, Gohan, and other warriors from Planet Beerus were forced into action to contain the imminent threat. Whis, analyzing the situation with his usual calmness, realized that something was deeply wrong. It appears that Broly's latent power has been unleashed uncontrollably. We must find a way to calm him down before it causes more destruction. As the warriors fought to contain Broly, the landscape of Planet Beerus became a chaotic battlefield with energy explosions and titanic clashes. The very stability of the planet was threatened by the legendary Saiyan's unbridled fury. Gohan, known for his measured approach, tried a different approach. Broly, we're not your enemies. Stop this and listen to us. We need to find a way to control your power. However, Gohan's words seemed to get lost in the storm of fury that enveloped Broly. The situation was becoming increasingly critical and the warriors on Planet Beerus were faced with an unprecedented challenge. Universe 7 holds its breath as Planet Beerus, a once peaceful training ground, faces an internal threat of epic proportions. 
The fate of the planet's training and very existence now hangs in a balance of the battle against the out-of-control legendary Saiyan. Vegeta awakens the power of Ultra Ego to contain Broly. The chaos reigning on the planet Beerus reached a critical point when Broly, out of control and enraged, seemed unshakable in a face of calls and attempts for control. Amidst the storm of destruction, one figure stood out. Vegeta, the Prince of the Saiyans, whose expression of anger and determination did not go unnoticed. With a thunderous roar, Vegeta channeled his intense energy, unleashing the powerful form known as Ultra Ego. A purple aura surrounded the prince, his power reaching levels that rivaled Broly's Zonumbrillo Storm. Goku, looking at Vegeta, muttered to himself. Vegeta chose the perfect time to activate Ultra Ego. I hope he can contain Broly before the destruction is irreversible. Broly advanced with incredible speed, his presence commanding respect even from the out-of-control Broly. Broly, you are an unstoppable threat. If you can't control yourself, I'll be the one to force you to quiet down. The battle then unfolded went beyond expectations, with Vegeta using Ultra Ego to combat Broly's raw fury. Each blow thundered like thunder, echoing across the planet and beyond as the warriors watched this intense fight of the titans. Vegeta's ultra ego form, emanating imposing energy, seemed to have a particular effect on Broly. The legendary Saiyan's uncontrollable fury seemed to gradually diminish in the face of the intensity of Vegeta's power. Whis, observing with his usual wisdom, commented, Vegeta's ultra ego is more than just brute strength, you know. He also emanates a presence that can calm the wildest hearts. Vegeta is using this form not just as a weapon, but as a tool to restore balance. As the fight continued, Vegeta, with a serious look, spoke directly to Broly. Stop it, Broly! If you can't control our power, then I will! Broly, still engulfed in rage, began to show signs of being affected by Vegeta's dominating Ultra Ego aura. His attacks became less indiscriminate, indicating an internal struggle between anger and the calming influence of the Super Saiyan form. The rise of ultimate power. Goku unleashes Ultra Instinct to curb Broly's rage. The confrontation on Planet Beerus reached a critical point when Vegeta, using his Ultra Ego form, fought tirelessly to contain Broly's fury. However, even with the intensity of Ultra Ego, it was clear that Broly continued to be an unstoppable force. It was then that Goku, watching the battle carefully, realized to the need to intervene. With a serious expression, Goku concentrated his energy intensely, transcending known limits. A silver aura began to surround his body, indicating the activation of the legendary Ultra Instinct. The gaze of the warriors on Planet Beerus turned to Goku, surprised and intrigued by the legendary Saiyan's decision to resort to Ultra Instinct. <clears throat> Whis, the Celestial Observer, nodded approvingly, acknowledging the seriousness of the situation. Goku, now enveloped in the energy of Ultra Instinct, charged onto the battlefield alongside Vegeta. His movements were smooth, each step corresponding to the cosmic dance of Ultra Instinct, an ability that transcends the need to think before acting. Broly, you need to calm yourself down! If you can't control your rage, you will face not only Vegeta, but also my maximum power, Goku said, his voice filled with transcendental calm. The three-way battle between Goku, Vegeta, and Broly has reached a new level of intensity. Goku, now using Ultra Instinct, delivered blows and movements with an efficiency and speed that defied comprehension. Cosmic energy pulsed through the battlefield, creating a celestial spectacle of colliding powers. Broly, even in his uncontrolled fury, began to show signs of surprise at the agility and dexterity of Goku's Ultra Instinct. Vegeta, alongside Goku, recognized the need for collaboration to contain the imminent threat. As the battle raged, Goku and Vegeta, each using transcendent forms, fought to not only survive but also to calm the storm within Broly. The fate of Planet Beerus and possibly Universe 7 hung in the balance of this epic confrontation. Universe 7 waits with bated breath. 
as these three exceptional warriors face a test of power, control, and collaboration. The only certainty is that the cosmos is about to witness one of the most memorable and significant battles in its history. Broly achieves inner peace, a new journey for the legendary Saiyan. The titanic confrontation on planet Beerus reached a surprising outcome when Broly, even faced with a formidable combination of Goku's Ultra Instinct and Vegeta's Ultra Ego, managed to find an opening to overcome the two Saiyan warriors. With overwhelming power, Broly defeated Goku and Vegeta, but instead of continuing his unbridled rampage, something unexpected happened. Broly, now enveloped in an aura of calm, addressed Whis, the celestial mentor who was watching the battle with interest. We sama I do not seek destruction. I seek peace, said Broly in a firm voice, revealing a transformation not only physical, but also spiritual. Whis, always perceptive, carefully observed the change in Broly. Oh, you found inner peace, Broly. That's something remarkable. Tell me, what is your next step? I have decided to seek the calm of my own key before all of this. I was an uncontrollable storm, but now I want to find a way to use my power in a conscious and balanced way. We smiled, acknowledging Broly's journey of self-discovery. It is a wise choice, Broly. If you wish, I will accompany you in your journey. The search for inner peace is a noble and rewarding path. The defeated warriors, Goku and Vegeta, watched with respect as Broly walked away, embarking on a new journey in search of harmony and control over his own power. Goku, recovering from the fight, commented with a smile. <laughs> it looks like Broly found what he was looking for. <clears throat> Sometimes a battle isn't just about winning or losing, you know, but about finding your own path. <clears throat> Each of us has our own journey. Perhaps in the end, the search for peace is the true test. While Planet Beerus recovered from the damage of the battle, Universe 7 witnessed an unusual chapter in the story of Broly, the legendary Saiyan. His search for the calm of Ki promised to be a journey filled with challenge and self-discovery, and the cosmos watched expectantly as Broly's path unfolded towards an uncertain future, but full of possibilities. The Celestial Trial Daishikan announces the Angel Challenge for Goku. As the Grand Priest Daishikan remained on Planet Beerus, a transcendental revelation echoed through cosmic space. With his calm posture and serene voice, Daishikan addressed Goku and Beerus with news that would change the course of celestial interactions. Goku, the Supreme Being of all appreciates your quest for strength and understands the unique role you play in the multiverse. However, before your training with Angel Key can proceed, you will have to undergo a challenge. A special challenge. A challenge? What do I need to do? Angels are the guardians of divine power, and each of them is responsible for a peculiar, particular galaxy. Before continuing your training with Angel Key, you will need to approval of all angels who govern the galaxies relevant to the Universe 7. Angel approval? Beerus, crossing his arms, questioned. This is something new. The Supreme Being of all believes that this approval is essential to ensure the cosmic balance is maintained. Angels are the caretakers of divine power, and harmony between the realms depends on their acceptance of their role. I see. So, I'm going to have to convince all the angels that I can use this power responsibly. Exactly, Goku. Each angel will evaluate your intent and ability to balance divine power. This is a crucial step in your cosmic journey. Beerus, although initially surprised, realized the importance of this approval. So this is part of the process. Goku, are you ready for this challenge? Yeah, of course! I'll show them that I can use this power for good. Good luck, Son Goku. May your journey for angel approval be successful. The future of the multiverse may depend on it. The difficult celestial journey. Goku expresses his concerns. 
Goku, absorbing the news about the challenge of getting the Angel's approval to continue his training with Angel Ki, voiced his concerns. Sitting on planet Beerus, he addressed Daishikan and Beerus with a serious expression. So, I have to convince all the Angels that I'm worthy of this power, right? Goku questioned, a mixture of determination and doubt in his eyes. Daishikan, maintaining his celestial calm, replied, Yes, Goku. It is an essential part of the process. Each angel will evaluate your intention and the impact you can have on the cosmic balance. <sighs> I just wanted to get stronger and protect people. I didn't think it would be so complicated. Hmm. The supreme being of all values balance above all else, Goku. This is a necessary task to ensure that a divine power is not used indiscriminately. Uh, I understand, but this seems so difficult. I just wanted to get stronger to help. I didn't expect this whole complicated process of divine thingy. Mm. Goku, the challenge is proportionate to the magnitude of the power you seek. It is a responsibility that accompanies celestial strength. I'm not good with formalities and negotiations. I'm not very good with... Formalities and negotiations. Negotiations, yes. Uh, I hope they see my intentions, even if, if I'm not that equivalent. It's eloquent, you imbecile! Oh, I'm sorry! You need to understand that you have a pure heart, Goku, and that often speaks louder than complicated words. Show them your determination, and things should work themselves out. Equivalent is not, uh, I mean, eloquent is not something that you need. <sighs> I'll do my best then. After all, if it's to protect people, it's worth it. May your journey be guided by honesty and the noble desire to protect. May the angels see this in you, Son Goku. As Goku prepared to face the celestial challenge, Planet Beerus became a stage for the intricacies of cosmic balance. The Saiyan warrior's journey, now intertwined with the intricate celestial politics, promised unique challenges and revelations that would transcend the limits of mortal understanding. The Legend of Goku, Key of the Angel Awakens Accepting the challenge presented by Daishikan, Goku embarked on an epic journey to gain the approval of the angels, becoming a legend that would resonate across the realms. With his determined expression, Goku said goodbye to his friends and family on planet Earth before heading to the Celestial Plane. The Grand Priest, Daishikan, guided Goku to the Celestial Temple, a sacred place where angels gathered to discuss the fates of the universes. The magnitude of the task before Goku weighed heavily on his shoulders, but his pure heart and will to protect motivated every step. Upon entering the Celestial Temple, Goku was greeted by the curious and, at times, skeptical looks of the angels. Each one represented a galaxy from Universe 7, and their approval was crucial for continuing training with the key of angels. So, you're the mortal who seeks the key of angels? Asked one of the angels, his expression impassive. Uh, yeah, I'm here to show that I can use this power responsibly. The angels began a series of questions, tests, and evaluations, placing Goku in the face of both physical and ethical challenges. His journey, filled with heavenly obstacles, revealed not only Goku's strength, but also the purity of his intentions. Eventually, after days of evaluations, the angels began to realize the uniqueness of the Saiyan warrior. His dedication to protecting life, his inability to accept ultimate defeat, and the burning flame of his spirit gradually won the approval of the angels. Daishikan, looking on with satisfaction, announced, Goku passed the test. His noble heart and unique strength convinced the angels of his sincerity. Now, he is ready to continue his training with Angel Ki. Goku, exhausted but satisfied, thanked the angels for the opportunity. His return to Planet Beerus would be marked not only by the legend of the Saiyan who mastered the key of angels, but also by the understanding that the cosmic balance was in the hands of warriors determined to protect. Thus, the legend of Goku, Angel Key, began to unfold. 
echoing across the celestial and mortal realms, a cosmic narrative that transcended the boundaries of common understanding. The Saiyan warrior, now imbued with celestial strength, was ready to face even greater challenges on the cosmic stage. Heavily laughter. Beerus anticipates a reunion with Goku. With Goku setting out on his journey to gain the Angel's approval and master Angel Ki, planet Beerus experienced a period of celestial calm. As Beerus watched the cosmic horizon, he couldn't help but smile. And Whis, beside him, noticed the aura of contentment in his god of destruction. Beerus let out a booming laugh, capturing Whis's attention. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, Whis, it looks like our Goku is becoming a cosmic legend. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed, Lord Beerus. He is embarking on a journey that few mortals have had a chance to undertake. <laughs> Who would have thought that a Saiyan of all beings would become such a significant player in this cosmic theater? The supreme being of all has a peculiar sense of humor when assigning roles in the grand scheme of things. <sighs> I just hope that when Goku comes back, he hasn't become so serious that he's lost that carefree, bubbly nature. <laughs> Goku has always been a yeek, Lord Beerus. Even with cosmic powers, he never lost his essence. True. He always manages to surprise us in one way or another. I can't wait to see him again. Me too, Lord Beerus. Me too. Beerus, while gazing at the horizon, raised his cup of heavily tea. One day, Goku will return, and I hope he brings with him more fascinating stories and... Of course, some unexpected comedy. We toasted along with Beerus, sharing a glimpse of the cosmic future that awaited the return of the legendary Saiyan warrior. While planet Beerus remained peaceful, the promise of a reunion with Goku hung in the air, like a story that still had many chapters to unfold. So hey, what do you believe in and what do you imagine about all of this? Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. Now I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.